The Air Data Inertial Reference System provides critical flight data to flight crew displays, engines, autopilot, flight control, and landing gear systems. The ADIR system includes the pitot-static system and air data modules, the angle of attack sensors, the total air temperature probe, and the air data inertial reference unit, the ADIRU. Pilots and technicians interact with the system through the mode select unit, the inertial system display unit, and the multifunction control display unit. The ADIRU, the heart of the air data inertial reference system, has two distinct partitions with independent processors. The air data function calculates critical air data such as airspeed, Mach, angle of attack, air temperature, and barometric altitude. The inertial reference function provides attitude, heading, ground speed, and present position data for use in navigation, and body acceleration and rate information for guidance and flight control. Ring laser gyroscopes and linear accelerometers sense aircraft motion and measure the attitude, linear accelerations, and rotational accelerations of the aircraft. And the ADARU continuously updates the aircraft position, heading, and velocity data. Two ADARUs in the electronic bay simultaneously provide data to the flight deck one for the pilot side displays, and the other for the first officer. An inertial reference fault in ADARU number one or two will cause a loss of attitude and navigation information on the associated primary flight display and navigation display. An air data reference fault will cause the loss of airspeed and altitude information. All inertial navigation systems experience small errors in the measurement of acceleration and angular velocity. These errors accumulate and result in position errors. So, the position must be corrected periodically. Every time the ADARU is powered up, it has to be initialized so that it knows where it is and which way the aircraft is pointed. This is called alignment. The operator enters the latitude and longitude coordinates, and then the ADARU determines the aircraft heading. It does this by sensing the roll and pitch of the aircraft as it moves with the rotation of the Earth. Sitting stationary on the surface of the Earth and pointed straight north, the ADARU will sense a roll to the right as the Earth rotates from west to east. If the aircraft were pointed due east, the ADARU would sense a downward pitch. There is actually a built-in correction factor that compensates for the rotation of the Earth. Otherwise, after 12 hours, the ADARU would think the aircraft was flying upside down. Sensing the motion due to the Earth's rotation is a delicate process that takes time. The time for alignment depends on the latitude. A point on the equator travels much further, and hence faster, than a point at a higher latitude near the pole. At the equator, an alignment will take five minutes. When you get around 60 degrees latitude, places like St. Petersburg, Oslo, Reykjavik, or Anchorage, you'll need a full 10 minutes to align. At extreme latitudes, it will take 17 minutes. In any case, it's important to keep the aircraft completely stationary during alignment. If an aircraft flies multiple legs without ever powering down, the pilot can initiate a quick align to update attitude and ground speed errors without going through a power-up sequence. For more details about the ADARU, refer to the pilot's guide or the aircraft maintenance manual.